how you doing? I'm Hassan. I'm a lead chauffeur, professional chauffeur, and uh, I'm happy to be able to share my experience, my experience with you as a chauffeur. Uh, when I first started making these videos, I didn't think it was going to get this deep, you know, because I'm like a person like to stay to myself and there's plenty of reasons why. See, since I've been doing this thing, like I started off doing this thing called ride shares in the transportation industry, of course being a chauffeur and everything. Uh, this side of the, I'm in now is like uh, what they call luxury limousine. Some people say that uh, because it's luxury limousine, it's a very niche sort of thing. Uh, myself, it seems to me to be to to what it is and has been for me is a natural progression from where I came from, which was, was, uh, was, which was ride shares, doing Uber and Lyft, because you know you're taking people around and everything, you're picking people up, dropping them off. If you're familiar with this thing called, uh, you know, ride share, Uber and Lyft, uh, you get it from your phone, you hit your phone, whatever, and you know, you get a ride, come pick you up. Well, I started off doing that, right? And myself personally, personally, I says, well, doll, you know, how am I going to get more money per ride? Because it was, you know, it wasn't like they wasn't paying me worth it. Well, okay, maybe they wasn't ever paying worth a damn. Maybe, it, maybe I just, because I come from being homeless, so any kind of pay was good to me. Oh, shit, I don't know. Hell, it's like I said before, it's better than sitting around in a homeless shelter. And you ain't making nothing at all, and you're looking at a bunch of foolishness going on. Anyway, 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 so much for that. Um, so, for me, become being a chauffeur and picking up private rides, picking up private, wasn't no different for him. What was the difference? I'm picking people up at home, it's one dude getting in the car, woman getting in the car. I'm taking them to work, taking them to a place where they need to go to do whatever they do, you know, work or whatever, have fun, whatever they doing. Uh, what was the difference between that? And actually, what I'm doing now, they just pay me more money. <laughs> I have to get paid more, you know, uh, but it's the same thing. And uh, so it was just a natural progression for me. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So, um, when I come to you and I'm bringing these videos to you, maybe there's some things I've been leaving out because I'm just taking some certain things for granted. I'm trying, going to be trying not to be leaving some certain things out. The real simple. Some of the simple, I just be taking things for granted. And then that's one of the things. Another thing is, you know, <laughs> well, some of the things I just have to grow through as a person. So uh, making these videos for me, I ain't going to jive to you about it. I ain't play around with it or nothing like that. It's a, 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 like a therapeutic thing for me. Um, you know, I'm 68 years old, and when I started doing this ride share thing, well, let me see, I, I started doing it when I was 63. See, I started doing it when I was 63, and even then, I was running rings around people half my age, and I used to brag about it and all of that, because, see, I see the attitudes the attitudes of people in the aggregate that do this thing called rideshare. Not all of us, 
because the kick asses of us, the real ones of us who really kick ass doing it, we, we making videos trying to help other people. You see, uh, the ones that ain't so kick ass doing it, you know, whatever, they ain't probably ain't watching no videos or nothing like that. They probably ain't they're just picking people up now, don't even know the beauty of what they got in their hands. You see, so. Um, and that's one of the other reasons maybe why it's been difficult for me to bring you a lot of videos because I might slip and use the word like, oh man, man, it's a beautiful thing. What the beautiful thing is, is not to just to picking people up with all that. That's nice too and everything because you're helping people. The beautiful thing is what you find out about you. And see, so it sound corny. <laughs> it sounds corny. It says, oh man, you say it's beautiful, you found the beauty in you and everything, man, that's corny. <laughs> so what you been doing? You been watching reruns of Mary Poppins, done found some old movie, some Mary Poppins movie or something. <laughs> but okay, you see what I'm saying? And I think that for a lot of us who do this thing, particularly ride share, because I'm in ride share, there's people who do all kinds of businesses and they found this thing about it, you know in doing the work that they do that's, you know, kind of fulfills them a little bit. You see what I'm saying? And see, that's unique. That ain't nothing, everybody don't do that. Man, people be sitting on jobs and be hating them jobs, man. People be on jobs, be hating them jobs, they just be lying about they like it. You know, maybe they like the title or something, but when it come down to it, you know, when it, when it come down to it, it ain't working. I don't get no, no too much more specifics with that crap. You know what time it is. Hell. Hell. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Using terms like beauty. When it comes to you doing a profession, something like ride share, Somewhere you behind the wheel, your chauffeur, whatever. It go, it could go two ways, right? It's either the one or two ways. You can put it any way you want to, but anyway, statistically, either we got the twenty-second most dangerous job it is, or we got the tenth most dangerous job it is. And for me, there's something about that. I'm going to admit it. There's something to, to a, a degree of exhilaration to that because I had to figure out how to get through it without a whole bunch of mess. And that's like, hey, man, you know, I'm pretty good at this thing. You know, I'm all right with it. Um, so now I'm a chauffeur. I don't have to be tripping with, with all that kind of mess. But there's some other stuff that goes on, too, you know. There's still the beauty of you bouncing off of other people when you become a chauffeur. It's just you taking people who make more money and they're kind of like, you know, you'll notice that there's some, some of the people you're picking up, they're businessmen and stuff like that. They kind of move the wheels of production. And something, it was just something uh, about it. Let me hurry up and do this right quick. i tell you this right quick. <clears throat> okay, when I first started, I was doing people in the entertainment industry. Like I told you about the hip hop comedian I was doing, and he really wasn't that funny. That was my, my, my first client. And I was gonna break into doing the entertainment industry. Okay. I ended up doing a lot of picking up a lot of people in the film industry, cause the film industry is really big here in Atlanta. There's a whole bunch of studios and then a fair amount of actors and actresses and people in the entertainment industry live here in Atlanta. You know, the faces, the names, you know all of them. I'm, I'm very thankful that I'm not starstruck. I am so happy that I'm not starstruck. But then I started, you know, I was able to start taking, you know, those kind of rides. 
And I was thinking, because every now and then I would get, you know, people on, the, you know, business people, you know, who work with, you know, some companies and, you know, medical people, heavy duty, you know, deep into some of these hard professions. And, um, you know, I, I actually, I kind of like taking the businessmen type folk. I really do. The actors and actresses, hey, you know, it's cool, you know. But them, uh, you know, them businessmen type of folk, you know, you know, you, you be taking them to private airports and stuff like that. I, and then they be talking, you know, stuff like that. And they, they just be talking. I, I like part of being a chauffeur. I like, I don't have to say nothing no more. Hey, how you doing? You know, help you out, whatever the case. I don't have to say nothing. I just have to be cool. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, they be getting there doing all that, talking on the phone, doing all that. And I'm, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm driving, I'm just like, hmm, okay, cool. Hmm, interesting. All right, all right, that's cool. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, what you get to learn about yourself and the world around you and things like that is just fun. You know, it's just, you know, how the hell are you going to have a job and you enjoy doing it? That don't make no sense in this society, do it? You have a new supposed, okay, this is the way it's supposed to go. Then I'm, okay, okay, let me go ahead and shut this on. Okay, this is the way it's supposed to go, at least I thought this is the way it was supposed to go, at least the way I grew up with it, you know, supposed to go. <clears throat> okay, you go to school, you do all that stuff, you come out and get a job and everything, and you do eight hours on the job, and you actually ain't supposed to like it and everything, but you're supposed to act like you like it, and you're supposed to say it's got some fancy name to it that ain't really got. Okay, so you like it better, and you gotta do that same thing over and over again, over and over again, every day for years and years and years. And then you work your way up, and you can say if say if you work your way up, and you become a manager at the company, you get upset with yourself, say, "Damn, I can do better than this." So you become a manager, and you can abuse the people like they was abusing you and everything. And then you go home, yeah, you the manager, this whatever, 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 right? See, so, you know, everybody arguing about the people of Bud M, people of Bud M arguing about the people under them, man, hell, hell with that bullshit, man. Lady for that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I don't, okay, it is what it is, it's what it is, what it is. But for years you do that, but now you're doing something you enjoy doing. You like doing it. Look, okay, look, until the next video, drive safe and drive with confidence.